Good morning. Some medical professionals and doctors choose to help people and patients by fixing all their problems and helping them like doing surgeries. I thought that sounded incredibly dull, so I've decided to drug them. <laughs> when we started this project, I, we did online personality tests to determine <coughs> career clusters. My main two career clusters were health sciences and agriculture, food, and natural resources. Going into it, I already knew I would probably choose a career in health science, and this just reassured me. After we narrowed down our options, my main three career choices were going to be anesthesiologist, explosives expert, and perfusionist. My opportunity cost, or second best choice, was to be an explosives expert. I, didn't, I chose to be an anesthesiologist instead because I didn't want to work in mining or construction. I thought that sounded like a less pleasant job than working in an office or uh, operating room. As an anesthesiologist, my job is to, take, is to administer anesthesia to patients and to monitor patients and take care of them who are already un under anesthesia. There are three main types of anesthesia. General anesthesia used to put patients into a state of controlled unconsciousness. Regional anesthesia used to numb pain in a certain area of the body. And sedation used to relieve extreme pain or anxiety in an emergency. My job is to decide when and how much to give a patient in need anesthesia. My incentives for the job were the high salary, I get paid $85,000 a year. Patients I have to work with are asleep, so I don't have to worry about being the type of doctor that just sees the people and hears all their problems. I don't want to do that, though, be asleep on a table. And it's a career that I find interesting. I like learning about jobs, and I or that's just a field I want to work in. My negative incentives are it's a very difficult job to be in. It's really stressful, and if you make a mistake, then you have a big problem. I can have to work over 65 hours a week, or 60, and I need to go through a lot of school to be qualified. These are a list of the websites and articles I use to learn all this information on anesthesia, and these are also amongst them. Those are a couple of images just related to it. Just, I, okay. For college, I'm required to spend eight years in a program to get a medical degree. I will attend Harvard Medical School in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I chose this school because it's extremely prestigious and it looks very good on a resume. After I get out of school, I'll require to have um, four years in a residency program that will be paid but lower than my actual pay. Then I would just be shadowing other doctors who are already part of the job. I will use a NROTC program to pay for college. Basically, what that means is I'll have to serve five years in the military, my preference is Marines, and when I get out, I'll, all my school will be paid for, so I don't have to worry about that in my mom doesn't. This is my monthly budget. I get paid $85,000 a year, which when divided by 12 equals $7,083.33 every month. I will live in a small one bedroom apartment by myself in Salem, Massachusetts. All of my utilities are included, except for electricity actually, are included in my monthly rent of $1,000 a year. And so, I am willing to pay that much for the apartment. I'll drive a 1967 Volkswagen bus. I'll have to pay $759.17 every month for that. However, I've chosen to do it because that's my dream car. When doing uh, parent and student estimates, 
many categories were very similar to what my actual were, except for taxes. Taxes were a lot more than we had originally expected due to my high paying job. This is my pie graph. It shows all of my monthly budget divided into nine different fields, the most being taxes, which I have to pay almost a third of my budget and over $2,000 every month. Trade-offs I made when making my budget were not having pets for my apartment. It does not allow pets, and I would like to have a cat in my future. But, uh, I am not allowed to live in my bus. I did really consider it because it would save a lot of money, but I wouldn't have very much space and the living conditions wouldn't be as good there. So I did go ahead and spend the money. And my, I took money that would go into savings or charity and put it into life insurance, which I don't think I need. But this is my uh, beautiful artwork. It's, um, it's not necessarily related to my career. It's a uh, United States Marine Corps flag, and I can't draw, but it shows that I do plan on serving in the military and because that's just what I want to do with my life. And it will, however, impact some of my career by paying for college and some medical bills and other expenses. That's all that I've found for my basics. Career unit. I've learned a lot about what being a working adult in America includes, and I was glad to do that. Thank you for listening. <laughs>